Hello everyone, Corbin Duran here, and I'm here reviewing the Wolf Sport Tactical Helmet for Airsoft and Paintball. Now, um, let's just address the elephant in the room. This is a clear DevTac Tactical Helmet ripoff. Let's be real. On the website, it says that it, they spent three years in R of R&D to develop this helmet. We all know that's bullshit. They probably bought um, uh, a real dev tack, pull it apart, tinker with it, and there's a lot of differences that it's not um, visible outright. But I'll explain to you guys later. Um, and it's just it, it's just a blatant ripoff. And for a fraction of the price, I bought this on AliExpress for about 170, 173 dollars. Came with an MVG mount. Uh, Picatinny rail installed, and it's a full any case helmet. All right. First off, the material. Now, um, Wesley of DevTech uses either fiberglass or um, you know, or uh, I forgot the ballistic material he used for the um, for the ballistic type. This material is plastic. Plastic, this straight plastic. I don't know what kind of grade, but I can tell you this: I shot this with my uh, with my G and G Predator, point blank range, 350 FPS exact, bounce right off. Just I shot at the cheap. This is the only mark it left. Bounce right off. So the plastic can withstand. Um, you know, point blank FPS. Now, as you can see, there were currently no lenses installed. It comes with lens, and um, they say the lens can withstand up to 420 FPS. The reviews on AliExpress suggest otherwise. A guy said that he shot it point blank with a um, 310 FPS, and it just shot right through the first hit. Um, I am not willing to lose my eyesight just to save a few hundred bucks from getting the real thing. So currently, um, I'm at NYC and there's a lens cutting, a glass cutting um, service, you know, somewhere in Midtown called Fabers, linked in the description, that um, I brought some um, polycarbonate lenses to them. So they could, um, when I give them the real lens, they're going to scan the lens and they're going to make lens replacement because eye vision over anything. We'll see, you know, how that how that holds out. Um, as we all know, this is primarily, you know, airsoft video. So people who are familiar with the DevTech mask knows that it comes with a built-in fan. Um, and surprisingly enough, this comes with a built-in fan as well, and it actually works. I was genuinely shocked um, because we all know um, Chinese knockoff products. You see, they're gonna burn your face off, explode, you know. You know the the, the, the the typical stigmas. Um, it only has one um, one move of the fan, which is blowing in, which is gonna blow the mist out, which is the primary reason why I got this. Um, it does, but the DevTech has an additional feature where it blows air out. So whatever steam you're building up inside you, it'll come out. Um, your fan is kind of audible. It's you could clearly hear it. I'll make a test, you guys. So this is the fan selector selector on the right side. Um, currently it's off when you switch it um, towards your face and that's full mode so there's intensities of, of how you can do the fan so at least you're not going to burn through the battery by having the highest the highest intensity of the of the fan on um, the NVG mount you know it's good it does the job well. I have the sorry about that. I have the Brain Exploder GoPro NVG mount. Now, um, compared to my Fast Helmet, I had to to like shave off the tabs over here um, for it to fit properly well in the in the in the Fast Helmet. Um, with the Fast Helmet, it was a tight fit. Like it was hard to, to push this tab in to get it in. With the Wolfsport Tactical Helmet, it slips in like a charm, but because I shaved off of these tabs, I'm assuming they're using 
the real um, NVG mount design as compared to the aerosol fast helmets. So let me give you, uh, show you guys. Boom, just like that. But then the rattle. So when you're running, it's gonna do that rattle effect. But as compared to the, a regular airsoft NVG mount, it's not gonna have it. So now I have to basically buy another uh, brain exploder mount, uh, link in the description. Um, so basically where I don't have to shave off the tabs and it will st it'll be still, cause one thing I hate during my footage of airsofting is the rattling. Um, another thing, genuinely shocked about, is the padding material inside. I got to admit, as much of a knockoff this is, it is comfortable to wear inside. Um, I'll just pull one out. It's cheap, don't get me wrong. You can clearly tell. It looks like, you know, like a, uh, you know, cracker. But, it's actually really comfortable. It's really comfortable. Um, can't, can't say much about that. And then, you know, Velcro. You just put it in, inside the Velcro. Then it sticks. Um, the plates. The plates are removable, but I'm telling you right now, it's a bitch. Um, they give you a regular uh, a screw. Forgot the name of it. Um, Phillips screw, I'm not sure. Um, and you unscrew it from here. It has tabs inside. Like for example, this one, that's connected to this side. You remove them both, you can move here, here, and here and then the cheek tap come out. In terms of breathability, uh, with that, with the cheek plates on, it can kind of get a little bit, um, it can kind of get a little bit humid in there, but it's, it's tolerable. It's no different when, you wear, when you're wearing a regular, um, you know, airsoft helmet rental. You know, with the with the full visor, and you know, it's, it's it's pretty much the same. When you remove the cheek plates, it's world different. You could breathe. Your thing is probably not gonna fog up. But what's actually surprising is when I'll put the fan on, the the goggles don't fog up. But they, mind you, this is only when I was just trying it on. This was an actual field use, so the field use um, experience could differ. But it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Um, the fans work, but I didn't, I, I wasn't sweating or wasn't, I didn't have mist enough to see that if the fan was going to, was going to get rid of the fog, but I, I have in good faith that it will since, you know, the fan at least works. Um, every plate here is removable. It's a bitch to do. Um, for the batteries, the batteries for the fan are inside right above your, um, the lens frame. So, I don't know if you can see that box right there on the top. Um, you need a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the, the plate, put um, three AAA batteries. Now, I don't know how much, uh, how long battery life is gonna last, but you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know in a follow up video. Um, to remove the lens is also a bitch compared to the DevTac. The DevTac helmet, I believe you lift, um, you see this outline over here, you lift it. And then you just swap it, you swap out the lens. With this helmet, you gotta remove six screws. Six screws. One underneath this Velcro, and like on the side, and the top part of the, these two screws on the battery box, and the top part of the battery box. So it's totaling six screws, remove it, and then you can swap out the lens. I would say it takes like, you know, Five minutes tops if you're not rushing anything. It's a little bit annoying, but it It uh, yeah, it'll get the job done, I guess um, And then you just put um, you put the the mesh for your eyes and the forehead back Again attach the velcro Boom um, I'll do a follow-up video to test when, uh, when I'm testing it out on the field um, I, my friend of mine has the real DevTech helmet, and I will soon be 
doing a follow video, please thumbs up to so we could uh, so I could get the video to you guys as soon as possible. In conclusion, this is what I would say. I say if if you really don't want to spend the money on a death tag, get this helmet. But by all means, do not play with this helmet with the stock lens. I don't want anyone here losing their 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 vision. I repeat, do not play with the stock lens. Take them out. Go to your local laser cutter if you have. Have them scan the lens. And you and what I'm gonna use is Lexan polycarbonate lens. You can get a, a sheet for four dollars at Home Depot or Lowe's. I tested the I tested the, the sheet point blank 350 FPS and it didn't even leave a mark. Um make several several copies just in case like it starts leaving marks and it's so gonna swap it out. Um I'm not hating on this, but I know Wesley of DevTac put a lot of research and development into his to the actual DevTac mask to um, have this blatant ripoff, you know, take a lot of money from him to towards more research and development and expanding his his uh, his company name. Um, but I understand people do not have base pay. Um, for my friend pay, he paid nine hundred dollars. That was for the front, the back, extender, and VG mount. These are all extra, um, extra lens, um, the fiberglass version. He also had to pay shipping, shipping and handling, which is about eighty dollars. Taxes and transaction fees, since debt tax is in Japan. So paying for all of that, I understand the nine hundred dollars. Well, that's, let's say six hundred to nine hundred dollars is intimidating. As to one seventy three, it has MBG. It comes with everything. And if you want to, um, if your head doesn't fit, you you loosen these tab, um, these tabs right here on both sides, and this thing comes out to fit any size head. Trust me, and I have a big head. It fits. I understand people's money is tight, especially if you're in the airsoft world. You got crazy expensive gear. You know your gun alone. If you're uh, if you're an avid airsoft player, it's probably you know in the 500 plus range. You know you got your BDUs, your boots, your mags. If you're running HPA, that's ex and that's not expensive, but you know it, it, initially it's expensive. Or you know if, if you have multiple guns, so I understand where you would ask yourself, why would I spend? Six to nine hundred dollars on a helmet alone, but granted, there's plenty of people who do that. Um, people spend that much money on military, rural military ballistic fast helmets. So, you know, it, it, it's all in the preference. Me, I'm gonna run with this for a little bit, but I honestly, to be real, I think I'm gonna go with the real DevTech helmet because um, I love supporting small businesses. This is a clear rip, but if if you would like to, to, to run with this and not break the bank, sure why not. I'm not going to leave a link in the description for this helmet. Just go on AliExpress because I'm not going to contribute to taking away money from, from Wesley of DevTech more than I have already. I'm just going to show you initially what's this helmet all about. And then the next video will show you the pros and cons of this helmet compared to the DevTech. Because the DevTech is going to beat this helmet in every department no matter what. Um, stock protection, check. Um, reversible fans, check. Um, the the cheap plates are magnetic. You just pull out, check. It's not a hassle. If you want to breathe one match, you got to freaking sit down one match, take the screws out, put, put the screws in a small little Ziploc bag to make sure you don't lose the screws. So that's that's a that's a plus. The this is the packaging. Decent box. The the manual is actually some high quality paper. I gotta I gotta give them that. You know, I really got to give that give that to them. Um, it's in uh, Chinese and, and English. Uh, English first, uh, Chinese in the back. So yeah, so this is the Wolf Sport Tactical Helmet. Uh, if I was to rate this in terms of airsoft helmets, I would say, well stock without replacing the lens, so go on as is. The lens alone, because it's stock and they um, false advertised that it goes out 420 FPS, I'm gonna have to give this helmet a 4 out of 10. 
because you're endangering people's eyesight because of that. Both sport. That that's unacceptable. You cannot do false advertising. And I highly doubt that this helmet could take a thousand FPS. Let's let's be real. Come on. Like, right, come on. Uh, in terms, if if they was to put polycarbonate lens, I would definitely bump this up to at least at least a seven out of ten. Gotta give it that because that is actually qualified to to be used stock. On an airsoft field, um, outdoor and indoor. You know the 400 FPS for outdoor, 250 for indoors. Um, so thumbs up this video. Subscribe um, for, for more videos. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, and let me know if, um, if you guys want to see my gear for airsoft, my weapons for airsoft, and definitely thumbs up um, to support the video for the replica compared to the real one side by side. See you guys later.